Why do cows mount each other? So by far our most popular video on our channel was one that we shot last summer where we put the bull in with the cows and a common comment is it seems like our cows are confused and uh, that's because the cows were mounting each other uh, they were mounting the bull and uh, yeah they appear to be confused but that's total totally normal behavior with with animals, goats, um, pigs do it. When the pigs go in heat, they mount each other. Um, it doesn't matter the, the sex of the animal. They just, you know, sense that those hormones and they get all riled up. So it's total, no, totally normal behavior that, uh, that cows will do when an animal goes in heat. The other part of it is that they uh, will do that as part of a establishing their pecking order and dominance, you know, overpowering each other and things like that. Our animals are not confused. Well, Greta might be confused because she never got bred, but our bull successfully bred the other cows, so... So there is no issue as far as the animals being confused. It's just totally normal behavior uh, when animals go into heat and you do introduce a bull to them. Right, Millie? So we actually have our bull up in our front pen here, which is actually a garden plot that uh, we've done this in the past where we put the cows or put pigs in after uh, we pull the garden out in the fall and the cows or the pigs are in there all winter long fertilizing. And then I grow really excellent tomatoes after we pull them out. So we got the bull in with our Dwarf Dexter Ladybug and with our newest addition Katinka and this is our bull Mr. President. In the summertime we use this as our buck pen and buck pasture down there but Kelsey felt bad for the goats. Um, I don't have this set up yet for winter time for the goats so this this summer I'll probably Put a, another wall in here for the goats and probably build another little lean-to structure for the cows if we put cows in here next winter. But we're supposed to get about 6 to 12 inches of snow and they're staying out of the wind right now. But our poor little ladybug, she is the outcast. <laughs> poor thing. Wherever, wherever the other two are, she avoids them. Don't ya? Still pretty shy. Just another example of the effect a animal in heat can have on other other animals. We are boarding three Berkshires for a friend to breed um, breed their pigs to our boar. And when they dropped off the sow anyway, and one of the gilts, the sow was in heat and the boar bred her like immediately. So having that scent of the sow in heat on the farm immediately put our current sows into a tizzy and our Hereford sow Sally started acting like she was in heat making the whiny noises and then actually going into what looked like a standing heat but she was you know three months pregnant at that time and if you watch her previous videos she just had a litter of piglets so it's that uh, the hormones the scent in the air will just put those animals into a frenzy and they begin mounting each other Gilts and gilts will mount each other. The barrows will mount, even though they're not in heat or, or anything like that. So the effect of a animal in heat 
does wonders on the herd. The animals are not confused. It's just that hormone scent in the air that will make them mount each other. So here's Sally's piglets. There's three there, and the rest of them are in the warmer here. Hello, little guys. So that's a frequent comment we get about our animals in that video specifically, because it is our by far most watched video. Any concerns you might have on our animals, they're not confused. It's just normal, natural behavior. Cows do it, goats do it, pigs do it. So we'll see you on the next one.